Hey everyone, it's Heather. So, um, I'm doing the Tag Your It Yarny Questions. Um, Crystal from Bag O'Day originated it, um, but uh, Ricola from Ricola's Crochet Corner, I don't know if that's, uh, from Ricola's Crochet Corner, she pretty much tagged anybody and everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, because it's really neat. Um, these questions are not as easy as I thought they were going to be. Um, and it was fun. Um, I've been watching everybody on YouTube, like all the, my, all the people that I'm subscribed to, I've been watching all like their answers and stuff. And none of them really have simple, simple answers because it, they're, these questions, Crystal really <laughs> made these questions so hard for people who love the craft of crochet and knit and love yarn. So these are not easy questions for people like us. So are people like you who love the same thing? Like these aren't going to be easy. They're, they're really not. They're not easy. But yeah, so this is the tag your eight yarny questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. So number one, what is your favorite color of yarn? Um, that's, that's a hard question uh, because I love all colors. Um, I, uh, I love, well, most colors. I'm not a big brown fan, uh, but any other color I'm pretty much all about. Um, but I would have to say sea spray um, or coral. Um, those are the two colors that I can't decide. Like, It's hard to pick between the two, but so I'm just going to say um, coral number one and then sea spray because sea spray isn't available in every brand doesn't have that colorway, but coral is mostly, you can find that pretty much in every brand. Um, so definitely that. Uh, number two, what is your favorite weight of yarn? Hands down four weight. Uh, it's just easy to work with. It's readily available. Um, and just four weight is just so easy to find. Um, and it, you can get it inexpensively. Um, and you can get a lot of yardage for, you know, little to nothing um, in certain brands. So, four weight. Um, what is your favorite style of yarn? My favorite style is actually roving. I love roving yarn. Um, I don't have, a, I do have some roving yarn, but I don't have a lot of it. Uh, but I do like roving yarn. Um, so, I'm going to say roving. Um, number four, what is your favorite fiber of yarn? Um, Cost efficiency, I'm going to say acrylic, uh, just because it's, you can get decent soft acrylic, um, and it's not irritating to the skin, it's, you know, it's just, so it's less likely to be irritating to skin, so I'm going to have to say acrylic, but if I wanted to be kind of bougie, I would say, uh, the recycled silk yarn that um, that I've recently got my hands on was actually really nice and I liked it, but it's expensive. It's not a cheap yarn, so, but I'm going to have to go with acrylic just because it's readily, like, just easier. Um, so, and then number five, what is your favorite brand of yarn you can easily get in your country? Um, for me, I'm going to have to say Red Heart. Um, I don't know if I've heard anybody say Red Heart. Usually it's like Lion Brand and stuff. But I'm going to say Red Heart. Um, it's easily available at my Walmart, my Michaels. Um, they have it at Hobby Lobby. Um, Joann's even has some Red Heart. Um, so definitely Red Heart. It's like I can easily get my hands on Red Heart. Um, number six, what is your favorite brand of yarn that is not easy to get in your country? Um, I like Stylecraft. Um, I, I like the Stylecraft, um, yarn. So, I, they have, um, different colors and stuff like that and different types. Um, or, I don't know, or Hayfield. Um, Hayfield has some really, really neat yarn too. So, I, yeah, Hayfield or Stylecraft. One moment. All right, sorry about that. So, yes, um, Hayfield or Stylecraft that I can't easily get in my country um, here in the U.S. So, and then number seven, <laughs> my kids, number seven, favorite online store and favorite brick and mortar. 
Um, favorite online store uh, as of right now, it's going to be Wool Warehouse because they have such a selection of different types of yarns and um, they're decently priced. Shipping is decently priced. So I'm going to have to say Wool Warehouse right now. Um, and Brick and Mortar Store is definitely going to be Michael's because, well, Michael's just... My Joann's doesn't have a really good selection. Walmart doesn't really have a good selection. Uh, so um, Hobby Lobby, if you can hit up their, if you can get the 30% off week, they're okay. But Michael's just always has a coupon and it, they, you know, so I'm going to have to say Michael's for brick and mortar. Um, number eight, do you keep scrap yarn? If so, what do you do with it? Yes, I keep scrap yarn. Um, if it's a decent sized amount, I use it for amigurumi or granny squares, um, and do like scrap, um, I'm actually working on a scrap granny square blanket, um, that I've been slowly working on for some time. So yes, I do keep my scraps. I tend to try not to have scrap yarn, so I try to use every bit of the yarn that I can, so I don't have a lot of scrap yarn, um, but I do use it for amigurumis and, um, like, uh, scrap granny squares. Um, number nine, what is your favorite thing to crochet or knit? I'm going to have to say blankets because blankets are just, uh, I wouldn't, I don't know if easier, but you can do, um, different stitches with a blanket. Like you can make a blanket in like any pattern. Um, it, it's just, you can do so you can do so much with a blanket you can do so many different there's so many different things you can do with a blanket and blankets are nice like everybody loves to cuddle up with a blanket um so i'm going to say i definitely gravitate towards making blankets um if you could crochet or knit one this is number 10 the final question if you could crochet or knit one thing for the rest of your life what would it be and what yarn would you use um this one is a tricky one because I'm not sure, and I think a lot of us aren't sure on this one, um, if it means you can only crochet one more thing and that's it and you're done. You can't crochet or knit again. Or if it means you can only do that one specific thing repeatedly over and over for the rest of your life. Um, either way, for that, I'm going to go with a granny square blanket because granny squares, you can do so many different things with a granny square. Um, and... You can either keep going and going, or you can make small motifs and keep adding them to a blanket and join as you go. Um, and you can make different types of granny squares. Um, and you can put so many colors in a granny square, which I love because I love to different colors. Uh, to add different colors, I don't like just one plain straight color. So I'm going to have to say granny square blanket. And the yarn I would use would be Big Twist Value because it is um, a soft acrylic. And it is a lot of yardage for a relatively cheap price. So it's a good price, good amount of yardage, and there's decent amount of colors in it too. Like there's, the Big Twist value has quite a few colors. So I would have to say that yarn. Um, and that is it. That's all of them. So I don't have anybody to tag. Like I don't know who to tag because um, I'm not a really big channel. So I'm just going to do the same thing as... Um, and just tag anybody who wants to do it. Um, if you don't have a YouTube channel, just maybe answer it in the comment section. Um, I will put the questions in the description box, um, so that way you know what the questions are. Um, and that's it. Um, so, uh, if you leave a comment, I really would like to know what you have to say and what you would do. Um, because these are not easy questions. Um, so that is it. Uh, please no negative comments, only positive vibes, and until next time.